Alrighty boys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my Fly It Like You Stole a YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Lacey, I'm the host of this here channel. And uh, we're going back to my little engine over here now. I'm going to give you a little briefing on where we are and what we're up to at this point in time. She's just about ready to run right now. And I'm just going to give you a few, a few things, a few points of interest about the little engine here. First off, I'm going to pick this thing up so it's going to shake a little bit. I want to point out that this is an air-cooled engine, meaning that these all these little cooling fins on here, they uh, they direct flow of air across here, and the flow helps cool it down. Now all this crummy-looking metal back here in the back that makes that takes away from the beauty of the little engine. Well, all this stuff here is designed and installed in order to direct the airflow around the engine in order to get the best possible heat dissipation from the cooling fins. And down around the inner cylinder baffles you'll see down here which i've sealed in there really nice with some pookie so that'll help direct the airflow and help keep the engine cooler back here in the back you're going to notice that the magnetos are installed uh there's left mag and right mag right there they're both installed the engine is all hooked up the oil temperature bulb is through here through the uh, oil suction screen right there you'll notice that i've also got uh, installed is my oil tank back here the little kidney tank hanging off the bottom Stand by. the little kidney tank here hanging off the bottom is the oil tank and that's got that standpipe suction tube that picks up the oil and sucks it up through there sends it through the suction screen and then on through the oil pump and throughout the engine uh, you'll see the carburetor is installed it has a, uh, a little uh, spider if you will on here with the intake pipes going up to the engines up here through the intakes the exhaust up here to the top and the rest of the baffling that's around the engine so like i said some of this ugly baffling that's just hanging here is installed for convenience only and where i am at, with the process at this point in time is i am checking my valve clearances all right now we'll go through that here in a second but what we've got here now is you see that i have i have a rocker arm inside here i have a push rod the push rod goes down to the uh to the valve to the lifter and the lifter body and as the camshaft rotates it around it rotates this up and down now in making the engine run you're supposed to have proper clearances right here and if you'll stand by with me for a minute i'll be right back and we'll talk about that okay <laughs> 